I'm Jack Beck here in the Judean wilderness with a thought on becoming the tree God intends us to be. When God speaks about our relationship with him, he often uses pictures from nature. And I'd like to show you a picture that he draws from the Judean wilderness and two different types of trees that grow here. Jeremiah 17 is where I'm going to be. It starts this way. This is what the Lord says. Cursed is the one who trusts in man, who draws strength from mere flesh and whose heart turns away from the Lord. That person will be like a bush in the wastelands. They will not see prosperity when it comes. They will dwell in the parched places of the desert in a salt land where no one lives. The tree behind me is that tree. It's an acacia tree. And its survival strategy is to hang out here by itself. There's so little water and so few nutrients in the soil that it actually has to form a forest of one. By contrast, Jeremiah says, there's another tree in the wilderness you ought to consider becoming. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water the spring water in the wilderness, a tree that sends out its roots by the stream. It doesn't fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in the year of drought, and it never fails to bear fruit. That beautiful picture is the picture of the one who trusts the Lord. And as I see it in this imagery, you and I really only have two choices in life, and the consequences will naturally follow that choice we make. Either we trust in the Lord and become that thriving tree by the spring or abandon him and become this lonely tree in the wilderness. I pray that the Lord will lead all of us to become that tree God intends us to be.